G'day everybody, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Hope you guys are doing well. We're hanging out here in the Blue Moon Saloon because we've just had a bit of a, a date, play date, with Amira. And uh, unfortunately, we did choose some dishes that she didn't really like. She, to be fair though, she did say get whatever uh, I would like. So I'm like, okay, well... You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of rice, so I got rice dishes, but apparently that wasn't good enough. Some people are very judgmental, aren't they? Like, can't a man eat rice in peace? Well, I guess we were on a date, but anyway. Uh, previous episode was interesting. We did progress the main story a little bit, discovered that Bronco was indeed the person that we thought he was. Uh, turns out to be Andy, the uh, member of, well, one of the members of Logan's gang. Now, um, I'm not entirely sure why Andy just doesn't run along back to Logan. Because I figure, you know, the best thing for us would be to actually just follow him all the way back to, uh, to Logan's hiding place. Assuming he knows where it is. Uh, but anyway. I'm not going to question things too much. Alright, so let's just work on the farm a little bit. And in the meantime, I'll also talk about what we're going to be doing next. But uh, firstly, a little bit of housekeeping though. Um, now, I have recently discovered, uh, uh, very late that is, that uh, the Dinkum uh, update or Summer Sun update had been released. So um, that's probably going to affect my schedule uh, with my time at Sandrock a little bit as well. Uh, just to not overload myself with too many series happening all at the same time because uh, yes, you know, there is obviously a little bit of pressure on myself to uh, deliver on videos regularly. Uh, so yeah, just keep in mind guys that if uh, you don't really see the video at... Uh, the expected time for my time at Sandrock, it's probably because I'm trying to space things and squeeze things into my schedule, uh, alongside obviously real world things that are happening, like a full-time job, <laughs> pays the bills. Uh, ah, if only, if only I could work on YouTube videos and, uh, and call it a day. Uh, unfortunately I have to make money elsewhere first. Um, alright, so. Uh, let's take a look at the list of things to do. Now, one of the things I am interested in is the Flaming Saddles quest line. Uh, this has been in there for a while. Sure, maybe there's Katori stuff, but uh, we've worked on Katori stuff a little bit, so uh, I'm thinking we'll go with Flaming Saddles next. Uh, I can't remember if we've done commissions for this day, so I'm gonna quickly check on... Uh, what we have in terms of commissions. Give it back now, you thieving pipsqueak! Nuh-uh. No takesies backsies. Takesies backsies is not legal terminology. You signed a contract. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What's a contract? Oh, why you little... Commissioner, what all this commotion? Why are you harassing this innocent child here? It's president, ma'am. And this innocent child is in fact a devious criminal. Have you forgotten? He bamboozled our whole town and made a tomfoolery of our rule of law. More importantly, he commissioned a very expensive shield from me that he has yet to pay for. You promised me vast riches, boy. I demand my vast riches. Ah yes, that uh, shield that he wanted built, which, I mean, technically we couldn't even build it because the diagram was pretty much a whole bunch of gibberish or scribbles. You fell for it because you're dumb. I scammed you fair and square. Shield's mine now. Such dishonesty. Oh, how I loathe such behavior. Indeed, there's nothing worse than one who tells lies. <laughs> He's one to speak, huh? Uh, about lies and deception. Uh, I'm thinking that he's, like, met his match here. Oh, stuff it, Commissioner. Yes, he was in the wrong, but he's just a kid. 
and he was all alone out in the desert. We need to give him a good sand rock welcome. Let him have his toy. I mean, did he even get like a shield in the end? Yeah, welcome me sloppy mustache. <laughs> I'll let you guys settle this. See ya. Uh, just let him have a shield, Yen. Easy for you to say, Builder. Unlike you, I take pride in my work. Allowing such larky caperings diminishes the prestige of my office. If you want to give out shields left and right over at, a uh, Dinkerton or whatever you call yourself, that's all well and good. But here at the producer, we believe in a little thing I like to call integrity. Now give me the money, kid. Give me it now. Now, now, now. Listen here, Commissioner. You leave this boy alone. Hear me? You send me the bill for his toy. You really ought to be ashamed of yourself. Funnily enough, I'm not. I feel great. Ah, Bill, it's like music to my ears. Well, you yokels can redefine morality all you like, so long as I get that check in the mail. Just don't come crawling back to me when this boy reverts to a life of crime. Or worse, becomes a crusty juggler. Ta! Wow, thanks for helping me. Can I... Oh, you grandma? Sure, sugar. Everyone does. But Andy, you need to learn some responsibility, you hear? I think I got a few chores you can start handling for a little pocket money. That way you can start earning the things you want the right way. How does that sound? Grandma, you're so nice to me. I'm gonna try real hard to do housework and pay you back and... and... Uh, why are grandmas always so nice to me? My grandma, she, she... What's wrong? You miss your grandma. That's all right, sugar. You let it out. Grandma's right here. I'm tough. I'm not crying, promise. Even the toughest people cry sometimes, Andy. Say, why don't you come over to our place right now? I'll make cookies for you and Jeff. Whoa. You're the coolest person in this town by far. Oh, I think you'll find plenty of us are pretty cool here. Uh, Jazz. I wonder who that is. I, uh, I can't exactly remember. Anyway, uh, well, a bit of a distraction there. Uh, definitely some lessons needing to be learned by Andy. And Yan, for that matter. He's definitely shameless. Uh, alright, so, petrified wooden sticks. Sure, we'll do that. And I guess it's gonna have to be chromium steel bars then. Uh, and then the other thing. Okay, stuffed mushrooms. We've got eight. We just need to make a little bit more. We'll get it done. Uh, and while we're here in town, uh, I think it's probably a good opportunity for us to also uh, pick up some more straw, because we are running low on that. And um, if we're going to grow anything further, we're going to need it. So let's get to buying some more. Uh, yep, yeah, all the straw you can spare. Not the best prices, though. That should do it for now. Uh, and yeah, I can actually turn in these commissions immediately. Uh, so yeah, in terms of main story lines though, we probably just have to hit all of these places to progress them. Uh, and then once that's all of all done, we might actually have, uh, some other major quest line to follow. Anyway, let's head to the blue moon first. Uh, one of our customers is sitting in here. Owen! There you go. Thank you. And he does want to say something here. Yep. In retrospect, it all seems so obvious. The bounty hunter who requested that I have candy and comic books delivered up to his room was actually a child impersonating said bounty hunter. Well, this is why I leave the detective work to you all. So long, partner. 
All right, and I can't remember who asked for the chromium, but uh, oh, it's Jensen. Let's get that done. And then we should get more meat stuffed mushrooms on the go in the uh, cooking station. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Andy in disguise asked me if he could drive the train. It's a good thing I refused, allowing him to do so would have been illegal. And incredibly dangerous. As I think about it, it's probably illegal because it's so incredibly dangerous. Got that right. Uh, so long, partner. Alright, so, uh, in terms of... Uh, cooking... I think I'm just gonna make as many of these meat stuffed mushrooms as possible because I feel like we're going to need to complete more of these requests. Oh no, we need some soy sauce. Forgot about that. Oh, actually, apparently we already have nine. Okay. Well, we could just simply complete this then. I do want to buy the soy sauce though. Sorry. I'm doing a bit of a run around here. Friendship discount. Get 10% off. That's nice. Although, we are paying 15% above normal price though. So, I guess we're still at a bit of a loss. That's alright. We'll end up making all that money back anyway. Okay, so it's, I guess, Amira who wants the dish? Mira, here you go. Thank you. I guess she wasn't satisfied with all of the rice dishes that we just had. Needed something else to eat. Okay, so uh, let's tag flaming saddles, and we apparently have all of the ingredients required to actually make this thing. So uh, it should be pretty easy to complete. Uh, I do want to maybe complete Flaming Saddles a little bit later on though, because I'd prefer to actually do it while uh, it's not getting dark. Because who knows, it might lead to other stuff. And we've had that time uh, before where it got super late and I guess we pass out at 3 o'clock. Uh, and I don't really want that to happen again. So, first things first, let's actually make more of the uh, meat stuffed mushrooms here. Uh, we definitely need more meat. Uh, I can't remember if we've got some commissions going. I think we do, but it might not hurt to check on how that's going. And um, I do want to upgrade gear as well. Uh, the iron axe is something that I would like to upgrade at some point. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to get a few machines working on stuff. Uh, tempting to do this, but... Let's go with iron plates. We have plenty of ingredients for normal iron now, right? Steel bars. We've never needed to make these ceramic plates. Uh, I wonder if they're actually just like general requests or maybe commissions. Let's do more steel. Yeah, looks good. Alright, and anything else we need to work on? Uh, okay, yes, we've got all we need for an iron axe. So... Oh, actually, no. We do have an iron axe already. We need the chromium axe. My bad, my bad. Uh, but we have everything we need for that as well, so let's do it. Sweet. Okay. So let's get that equipped. 
Uh, where is it? There we go. Maybe I want to improve the quality on that first. Um, Agat. Agate? Agat? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but we've never seen this before, so I guess we can't for now. Right, let's put that in that slot. I think we're looking good here, so... Uh, okay, all done. We just tuck away a few bits and pieces here. Uh, and we actually don't have any eye cream, do we? So I should actually pick up some more eye cream from... Uh, from Avio's store. So, anyway, let's maybe do a little bit of hunting, get some extra meat. And uh, come tomorrow morning, I think we'll uh, build the saddle and then we'll have a chat with Elsie and see what she says. I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of a riding uh, segment as soon as we complete Flaming Saddles. Kick a few trees, then we'll head to Eufala Salvage. Uh, see if we can get the, uh, the robot. And there's a few more Yakmul up there as well. Since we're actually here, guys, I think I might swing by to... Oh, Coco's just like sitting here. Hey mate. Oh, can't interact. Plus two. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the commission board here and... Uh, we might actually swing by... Oh. If you don't tell us where Logan is, I'm gonna be really angry. You better do what he says. He's crazy. Man, before Forehead over there was the good cop and Dreadlocks was the bad cop, now you're the good cop? At least get your interrogation technique straight. Sheesh. Bunch of Dang it, this is going nowhere. Whoops. Uh, look, kid, just tell us what Logan is. Lives at stake here. You better do what he says. He's crazy. Ah, good grief. <laughs> <laughs> now you're both good cops. Thanks, Andy. Nobody's ever said that about us before. Whose side are you on, man? Oh, uh, hey. Sorry you had to see all that. Can I go now? Yeah, this is going nowhere. Unless you want to try asking a few questions. <laughs> Out of the way, I'll crack him like an egg. Uh, let me talk to him. Sure, take a swing. Uh... Please, Andy, you gotta help. Uh, or should I be tough? Uh, let's, let's try being soft first. Please, Andy, you need to help us. Oh yeah? Why come? Androx full of good people. Eh, yeah, y'all are alright. 
mean Haru was always saying he was hoping to make peace with y'all one of these days. All right. So what if I do help y'all? What's in it for me, huh? The feeling of doing the right thing. <laughs> oh, phew. Y'all let me go in there for a sec, builder. I ask. Damn it. Okay. Uh, should we just offer him, like, all of the candy? Oh, yeah? Why come? Eh, yeah. All right. So what if I do help y'all? What's in it for me, huh? Uh, yeah. All the candy you can eat. Uh, I guess that's irresponsible as well, though. And we wouldn't put a kid in jail. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, all the candy you can eat. All the candy I can eat, eh? All right, fine. I'll tell you what I know. I'm getting bored of this anyway. Truth is, truth is, truth is, I don't know nothing. Yeah, that's right. Logan made sure I never knew nothing about what he was doing, where we were going, nothing. Heck, I don't even know what he's got against y'all, but he took care of me and mine when I was lost out in this desert. That makes him all right in my book. He made sure if I ever ended up here, I wouldn't know anything that could put him in his outfit in danger. So there, looks like he outsmarted you lot. I predicted how dumb I is. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I said, I don't know nothing. Couldn't help you even if I wanted to. So let me go already. So why did you pretend to be the bounty hunter? I heard Haru and Logan talk about how Penn's a tough opponent, and they were waving around a picture of some red-haired fella saying he was coming to town soon, so... I came up with a plan. Make a disguise, get a super shield, block space punch, obviously. So yeah, like I said, I don't know nothing. Couldn't help you even if I wanted to, so let me go already! I don't buy it. As someone who also knows nothing, I feel he's telling the truth. Eh, still a bit fishy from where I'm standing. Howdy, boys. Ah, you're here too. If I'd known, I'd have brought you something. Thanks, Grace. Just put the food on the table if you would. Kinda busy. Doing a little, uh, interrogation here? Uh, yeah. How'd you guess? We'd really ought to get back to it, though. I can't tell if this kid is telling the truth or not. Hey, what are you? Ah, no, mommy! Ah! <laughs> what? Get her away from me! I'll do anything you say. I told you everything already. I told you everything! Ah! He's telling the truth. Uh, uh, all right, Andy. You're off the hook for now. You just stay out of trouble, all right? Everyone else, dismissed. I need to go for a walk or something. All right. Well, I, I wasn't really planning on triggering that thing. Uh, Grace, oh. can I ask what you said to the kid? Uh, nothing much. Just a little something to strike fear into the heart of any grade school-aged troublemaker. Right. And that's just another trick you picked up on the college debate team? More of a babysitting tactic. Little boys can be monsters when their parents aren't around. Gotta know how to work them. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. So much so much for our, our, our goal of coming in here and checking on the commission board. Bloody hell. Oh, my God. Shit! was disguised, the cookie jar from our house disappeared. There were a lot of cookies inside. Is there any chance that you and the Civil Corps will be able to recover our lost valuables? Um, listen, Jasmine. In 80% of all cookie thefts, the confectionaries are consumed within the first 12 hours. That number rises to 99% after 24. And based on the criminal profile... Guy eat your cookies. What? Dirty, rotten, no good thief! I hate bandits! <laughs> Could you two learn a little bedside manner? She's just a girl, cheese! Sometimes the truth hurts. Can't we just like bake more cookies? 
Jeez, I'm triggering all sorts of stuff for this next part of the story, which I'm not really wanting to do. Uh, I was going to go to Arvio's place as well, but I'm guessing it's closed now. I think it only opens till 10, so... Alright, well, let's get back home. Uh, as I said, we'll go to Yufala Salvage, actually, and uh, we'll continue doing a little bit of work there. When we wake up tomorrow morning, we'll make the saddle, and then we'll have a chat with Elsie. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see what happens with this side quest. Uh, and then hopefully, we'll be free to sort of do, like, commissions and stuff like that for the rest of the day. Um, Okay, let's get these yak moles. Uh, so this yak mole, despite being level 11, why am I not doing a lot of damage to it? Okay, something is obviously not right. Alright, uh, I'm gonna leave, because <laughs> it's already almost bedtime, and I'd rather go to sleep, and, you know, if, if, um, the game's being a little bit problematic because of reasons, then I may as well come back to that activity another time. Okay, all right, so first things first Let's head out there make this saddle uh, I'll Just take a look at Stuff here dear blue. Hey, uh, there was a reward to anyone who helped safely catch that bandit kid uh, You were no doubt number one in making that happen. So we're giving the whole pot to you good on you blue couldn't have done it without you PS we We'll try to be a little bit more observant in the future. Yeah, okay. Um, something from Danby. Blue, I suddenly felt like giving this to you today. Cantaloupe, okay. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to remember, guys. Was there a quest that we needed to follow up on? Um, that we received in the mail recently. Um, I just feel like we may have received something. Anyway, uh, hopefully that all fits in there. Uh, let's take a look at mail. How do we look at mail again? Or does that have to be from the, um, from here? So stuff that we've read... I have a feeling there was something from... from Unsure or something like that? Yeah, something happened at my house. Need your help to figure it out. Um... Okay. I wonder if this is something that we should do soon. Uh, so that we don't miss it, if that makes sense. Though we haven't exactly received a task here, right? So I'm guessing it's okay to put that on the back burner. Um, let's make the saddle. Alright, very good. Now we do need to talk to Elsie, but I figure, uh, I think I'm gonna go to the Civil Core since uh, we've sort of cleared out some of the things that we're going to trigger. So it should be pretty safe to go there without triggering anything else. Uh, we can pick up some commissions on the way as well. Might not be a bad idea.
plastic shells. Okay. I haven't had requests for plastic shells in a very long time. We'll do the stuff that's going to give us the most money, though. Braised meat. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've made this before, but we'll um, we'll check it in a moment. And yeah, let's go and check that commission board in the Civil Corps. Banjo. Macchiato. Uh, I do need to go to Avio's store, I forgot about that. Well, we'll do that when we go back. Deputy. Alright, um... I definitely want to do this. And... let's see... I wish we could do just like two commissions of this. Can we do that? No. Oh, we maxed out at, uh, with all of our commissions. Yeah, we are. Okay. Cool. I wonder if there's a way we can actually track if we've got some commissions going with the Civil Corps. If there is, uh, maybe... Some of you experts can actually let me know in the comments. That way I don't need to keep going to the uh, sorry, the um, Civil Corps every single time I need to check. But anyway, uh, let's take a look here. We've got only one commission that we can complete right now. Uh, I am going to get stuff cooking and uh, get a few things crafting. Uh, while we speak to Elsie. Oh, okay, we need petrified wood and we need the recipe. Okay, well, it's gonna have to be on the back burner then. Uh, let's make the braised meat though. Okay, so we're out of sugar. And we need more meat. How many do we need to make? Seven. So this is going to be a little bit of a process, isn't it? Alright. I've completely forgotten to go to Avio's place. I guess it's not so bad as long as we uh, go to bed on time. Let's have a chat with Elsie. Uh, where is she? Okay, she's up there. Okay, that might trigger quest line. I'll try and avoid it. Uh... What's more hip than doing the right thing? Nope. Nope. Hey, this looks pretty good. You sure you didn't nab it from some highfalutin pro shop? Gosh, I feel all the rain clouds being chased away. I can't wait to get back out on the trail and try this thing out. Here's your pay as promised. Be seeing ya. Seems like the little cutie really likes our town, so I'm letting it roam free around here. If you see it, give it some food and pet it on the head. I bet you it'll love it. Oh, okay. 
Uh, is she referring to maybe one of her horses or something? Um, what did we just get there? Golden ear bone ring. Defense points plus 15. Ah. Wonder if there's anything that we can replace. This is a level 18 item, but it's giving us less defense points. Can we just sw uh, switch that out? Do we actually wear it? I don't think it's actually visible. Oh, I... <laughs> My bad, it's it's an earring. I thought it was like a, a ring ring. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll switch back. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure about wearing an earring like that. Um, let's, again, go back to our workshop, and yeah, we should spend some time doing some of these commissions. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to need to go out to the Fala Desert, try and get some more, uh, petrified wood, because we are out. Hang on, uh, one of the things disappeared here. Uh, we didn't exactly trigger it though, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but... Anywho... Let's continue on. Um... So, first things first, maybe get the recipe. And... Do I want to go to Avio's shop? I suppose it's nearby. We may as well. Uh, there it is. Um, braised meat. Seven of them. We just need more meat. Um, so I could hunt right this moment. Maybe let's start up here. Maybe, just maybe, guys, uh, it might not be a bad idea for us to take different types of general commissions that don't require meat, and that way we can sort of bank up on meat a little bit more before coming back to them. Because uh, at the moment, we're having to source the meat ourselves, and try and make up for the lack of raw meat that we have. Unfortunately, not every single Yakmal gives you meat. Which is a bit of a shame. Farm needs a little bit of looking after. Alright, let's drop this in. Um, I thought we needed more than seven, but anyway, we'll just make whatever we can for now. Um, I think it's time for us to go out and try and get some more petrified wood, since we have zero petrified wood at the moment. I might actually grab a horse as well, just to speed up the process of moving around everywhere. It is a little bit pricey, isn't it? Oh, we've hit 60,000 goals. Well, just under now, so...
But yeah, I guess we could start thinking about uh, enlarging the, uh, the workshop area. Let's start from Gecko Station. Hopefully with these, uh, well, with the Chromium Axe that we've got, maybe it might be a lot faster for us to gather some of these materials. I'm hoping, anyway. Yeah. Just a tiny bit faster. I'm surprised there is no additional projects for us to, you know, get some more of these trees in to the desert. Because, uh, you know, if the plan is to just make the desert green again, return water, then you'd be planting even more. Maybe even trying to cover almost the entire desert as much as you can. Then it won't be a desert anymore. is this thing? Sistanch? Sistanch? I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> anyway, let's go through here and I'm gonna hope that there are more of those trees. Yeah, there's one more here. Hopefully there's like a couple more near the um, the the old ship. Do we even have enough stamina for one whole tree? Or maybe we can only get like half a tree. Yeah, there's two more. We're probably not going to be able to get both of them. make the whole tree actually. Just hoping that we'll recover a little bit of our stamina in the process here. Yeah, okay, good. Happy with that. We may as well expend all of our stamina at this point.
Very good. All right. Let's head back to a Yakmal station and we'll get back to town. Uh, what else is there for us to do? Might look at uh, whether or not we can turn in the braised meat. I'm thinking there's probably going to be a lot of work to be done for our farm as well, actually. Alright, so let's get you to return. Alright. All seven collected. Um... Let's see if we can actually get the spear crafted here. Let's just do one. Uh, we do need the bronze sword and shield, don't we? Uh, I think that's a side quest, actually. Alright, so... You know what, there's probably no reason for us not to take the horse. There you go. Thank you. Extra cash. She also wants to say something here. Uh -huh. I believe we're doing the right thing by taking in Andy the bandit boy. It's said that the child who is not embraced by the village will burn it down just to feel its warmth. Let's not get burned down, shall we? Catch you later. Alright. Yeah, that's a, a little bit sinister, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh, Heidi. Yes. Uh, petrified wooden sticks. There you go. Hmm. And let's yeah. chat. That boy fooled a lot of us. But what's more troubling, how did he know we had a bounty hunter coming? And how did he know that our bounty hunter looked what our bounty hunter looked like? Hmm. See ya. That's actually a very good question. Uh, obviously someone or somehow uh, information got leaked to Logan's gang because when he was talking to us about how he disguised himself he uh, basically said that he heard Logan and Haru talking about the hiring of the bounty hunter so they must have got that info from somewhere. Uh, anything else we need to work on here? Let's just make the sword and shield since the uh, spear is going to be ready in a few seconds here. Uh, that way we can complete the next side quest pretty quickly. Uh, and then in the meantime, obviously, there's probably going to be some farming. I was I was thinking maybe our farm might needed uh, might have needed some work, but apparently not. Just harvest a little bit. Alright, and let's chuck some more fuel in. Let's do one sword and shield. And we should be able to complete this spear commission if we can get to justice pretty quickly. Can we speak to people while we're on the horse? I think we might be able to. Ah, yes, we can. Okay. A little bit weird, though. <sighs> Man, can't believe I let that kid get in here and give us the run around like that so easily. Maybe this Logan case is really getting to me. So long, partner. Don't worry, my friend. I'm sure we will catch him one of these days. And maybe we'll actually be able to catch him off guard one of these days. He seems to be always prepared, one step ahead of us. Right, so it's almost 11. Uh, I mean, I've got no stamina. And there is no farming to be done, so... I'm thinking maybe we just sleep. Although, maybe I could spend some time just 
watering the entire garden because um, it's going to need water at some point. And it's not such a bad idea. Oh, our, our horse. <laughs> yes, mate. Good, good boy, but you can go back to the front. Thank you. Good thing this game is not entirely realistic with uh, things like, uh, you know, trampling and all that sort of stuff. As can you imagine if, like, the horse got in here and then started trampling through all of our uh, veggie patches and stuff? That would be so frustrating. Alright, let's gather all of this. Oh, and it is bedtime! Let's go! Alright, so one of our commissions is done. It's good. Uh, I guess I should go back to the Civil Corps and get another commission. Rise and shine! Dang, you rise late! I've been waiting forever! Almost ten minutes now! But that's neither here nor there. Come on, I brought Lil' Bell. We're going riding. Uh... Okay, let's go. Swell! Saddle up and let's get a move on. I'm fixing to take you to my favorite spot. Sure. Away from it all. Okay. Come on, Lil' Bell. Let's giddy up. Yeah! Oh god. <laughs> Whoa, Lil Bell, it's that away. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was close. Uh, I don't exactly have control over uh, the the way the horse is going. I do have control over the camera though. Take a gander. I sometimes ride out here for my morning cattle herding. Take a deep breath, soak it all in. We're above all the dust and gunk, so the air is extra fresh. Plus, the view ain't nothing to sneeze at, neither. Ah, yeah, that's the good stuff. What's your take, partner? Feeling inspired? Humbled by the vastness of the great outdoors? Yeah, I mean... I mean, one thing that's for sure is Sandrock is definitely a breathtaking place, so yes, it is amazing. Ain't it though? Being up here kind of puts things into perspective, don't it? We're all like specks of dust blowing in the wind and whatnot. Well, ain't getting any younger. Oh, okay, so I guess we're going to a different spot altogether now. I don't think we've actually been down here ourselves, have we? down that hill. Hands tied on the reins, wind in my hair. Here's pretty much the only spot I feel like I'm anywhere but inside city lines. And it's the furthest my folks will let me go. They think I'm still a kid. 
But when the sun sets out here at my spot, I'm whoever I want to be. Whether I'm hoofing it or riding like the wind, out here, nobody can tell me what to do. I'm a bird, wild and free. But my pa doesn't even want me out this far. He's always saying I gotta be more ladylike, which is just code for boring. I'm a legal adult, I know how to take care of myself, but they still treat me like some baby yak male. One of these days though, push is gonna come to shove, and I reckon I'm gonna have to... Say, wanna hear a secret? I've got a treasure box hidden nearby. I'm quietly saving up, storing away a few goals here and there. Then, before you know it, whoosh! I'll be buying the first ticket out of this one yak town. Like I said, free as a bird. But, yeah, we'll kind of miss you here in Sandrock, though. Aw, oh, shucks. I'd miss you and me and all the critters around here, but I'd come back and visit. And hey, you gotta come visit me, too. Ain't fair to put the burden all on me now, is it? Now, that's kind of interesting because, you know, like, I would have thought most of the town folk would be staying. Although there was the old builder, I forget his name now, but, um, Mason, that's it. Um, but yeah, I figure, I guess there are some people who just don't want to stick around in Sandrock and may end up leaving. Elsie could be one of those. Say, I tell you what, cowpoke, I hereby issue a challenge. See if you can find my treasure chest. I'd consider it a favor whether you found it or not. If any you did, that means I didn't hide it good enough. You're all right for a city slicker. And a staunch companion. Real true blue. I feel like I can tell you anything. Anyway, I gotta get home. You wanna ride back to town? True blue, you said it. Um... We could try and find her treasure. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back with you. I suppose it doesn't really matter if we find the treasure right this moment. All right. At your workshop already. Let's hang again soon, huh? See ya! Um... I'm just taking a look here. So there's nothing to show that there is some kind of a mission or anything like that, or a side quest to try and find the treasure. But I'm guessing it's down here somewhere, if we're going to try and look for it. Hmm. Alright, well there we go. Yeah, a little bit sad to know that uh, Elsie is planning to leave, although I don't really know if it would actually happen in-game. Uh, okay, so we've got our extra meat, that's good. Probably gonna need it very shortly. Uh, we may as well go to the Civil Corps right now and, uh, you know, fix up another commission for more meat. Oh, no, it's, it's so early. <laughs> All right, um, is it too early to go to the Civil Corps? All right, let's get this on the go. Good stuff. I feel like we've been spending a lot of money though. How are we doing on the cash front? Okay, 62,000 goals. That's very nice. Which means that hopefully, maybe in the next episode, we'll uh, spend a little bit of that money to, well, not, not a little bit, a big chunk of that money actually, <laughs> on upgrading the uh, workshop space. And uh, we'll be able to hopefully move things around uh, a little bit more uh, and tidy up the place. We could even extend the house a little bit more when we eventually find the cash for that. Uh, yeah, we need all of this. Again, still not entirely sure what this facial cream is for. Maybe it's a gift, actually. Maybe we can just simply give it to someone.
So I'm not sure why there's uh, the calendar love heart thing. Uh, oh, okay. Some people want something. Right. Well, uh, I'm just going to have to wait because we're a busy man. We're too busy trying to rebuild this town. Too busy trying to help other people do stuff as well. Uh, let's get you to return and uh, let's see, pick up the bronze sword and shield. So we're going to be ready to complete that quest as soon as we come back. We are actually really short on stuff to do, aren't we? So uh, I think in the next episode we might uh, look into, you know, progressing the main storyline a little bit more as well. Um, let's deal with the farm here. More water. I thought we just, like, watered a whole bunch of this. Oh, my bad. That's not water. That's, uh, fertilizer. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the rest of the leaks to be ready before we harvest. Uh, and... Since it's a new day and everything, we should actually check in on commissions. Alright, uh... Manganese steel bars. We could do that. That's relatively easy. Petrified wooden sticks. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Let's do the plastic shells first. We've got plenty of those. And then we'll go into the manganese steel bars next. Uh, and then, yeah. Ooh, large sandakudas. I think we have some, right? Brilliant. So we should be able to turn most of these commissions in almost straight away, really. Uh, let's just check if there's anything that we need to actually work on. Yeah, probably not. Okay, cool. So, let's try and look for the people who have requested for this stuff. Uh, plastic shells... And the wooden sticks, I guess people are maybe in the temple. Let's go out there. Let's try and make our money. So there was that yellow circle sitting around here before, but it's disappeared. So I'm guessing it's okay for us to move around here. Um, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm hoping that the game hasn't bugged out or anything like that. Um, despite all that's happened and the smoothness of the game so far, uh, I do feel like there's still a few bugs here and there that could be ironed out. Howdy. Uh, I forget what that thing is, but anyway. Thank you. Do these people want to talk? Hmm. Hmm, my birthday? Well, if you must know, it's the 24th of autumn. But uh, don't bother yourself with any gift. Donate something to the church. That'd make me more pleased than pie after harvest. Be seeing ya. Uh, and did Miguel want to say something? No. Bye. Bye. Alright, uh, and then the large sandakudas at Avio's place. So, yes, let's go to Avia's place. Let's not trigger anything, because <laughs> uh, I think I'll I'll probably progress the main story in the next episode, as I said. For now, we'll just make a little bit of extra cash, and I think we're going to be calling it an episode here, guys. Okay, cool. Uh, kind of a mixed bag sort of episode uh, this time around, guys, so I was wanting to focus really on Elsie's thing 
we did get it done in the end, but we ended up triggering a whole bunch of different story, uh, I guess main story related cutscenes, which is okay, I guess. We had to sort of go through all of that anyway to progress more of the story, but uh, there's one more to go. Uh, hopefully we'll do that in the next episode. Alright guys, I am signing out. As usual, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Hope you look forward to the next one. As I said, uh, things may be a little bit irregular uh, from here on out, just as we uh, explore Dinkum a little bit more as well. Uh, hope you uh, don't mind waiting a little bit more. Alright guys, stay true. Catch you in the next one. Bye.